Healthcare, of course, is an issue that affects all of us. To get more insight, my colleague Jim Spillman spoke with a psychiatrist as an expert on global public health. We're joined now by Dr. Amir Afkami, Assistant Professor of Global Health at George Washington University. Welcome, doctor. Thank you for having me. Let's start by talking broadly about public health spending. As a percentage of GDP, the United States spends by far the most. Why is that? Where does the money go? And is it worth it? Uh, it principally goes uh, to hospitals and ambulatory health care centers, but a fair amount of that, uh, you know, about 12 to 15 percent of it goes into administration uh, costs. Um, the part of the problem is uh, the conversation in the United States has not shifted from health care to ensuring better, better health for the population. But doctors, is that changing at all under the Affordable Care Act, what's known as Obamacare? I think it is. I, I think uh, slowly we're realizing that we are not going to have better outcomes in health if we focus on health care alone. There are a lot of social determinants of health that people uh, live in that, that ultimately we can either represent pathways to better health or barriers to good health. Doctor, your background is in psychiatry. Mental health issues, uh, by definition, are, are generally hidden from sight. In other words, you can't see a mental health issue like you could see, say, a gunshot wound. Now, I know you've done some pretty extensive work in Iraq helping that country rebuild its mental health system. What are some of those challenges specifically for mental health in a place like Iraq? Well, uh, one is obviously manpower and, and, and human capacity. Uh, you can't uh, deliver care if you don't have the right, right trained individuals to deliver that kind of care, but also an environment that, uh, that can perpetuate uh, a, a, a sort of good mental health outcome, sort of the social determinants once again. If uh, a country is undergoing conflict, uh, you will see higher rates of mental illness. And until, uh, you know, there is a certain degree of stability and a certain degree of calm, you're not going to go uh, reduce uh, those rates uh, with just health care delivery alone. So a country like Iraq or Afghanistan faces big challenges when it comes uh, to uh, stabilizing, uh, you know, the, the, the rising numbers of individuals with mental illness. Uh, in the absence of stability. And I would imagine that uh, that's really, situation is really just getting worse in places like Syria and Western Iraq as well. This is just a few minutes ago, we heard about the central government of India cutting public health spending by 10 percent. And there's a lot of criticism in India that the country is focused more on development than on providing these kind of public services. How hard is it for a developing country like India to balance economic growth with providing public services? There's always choices to make here. Uh I don't think actually it's that difficult because uh, providing uh, public health services uh, actually results in uh, long term uh, uh, sort of fiscal gain. Uh, the problem is that the return on investment is not always immediate when it comes to public health. And uh, in, in our way, in sort of the culture of medicine as it's developed in the last 50 years, we tend to be focused on, on relatively rapid results and rapid gains. And, and when it comes to public health, we have to have a long-term perspective uh, on issues. Spend smarter even if you can't spend more. Dr. Amir Afkani of George Washington University, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me.